Hey guys, it is Mike from Baltimore Rides here. It is um, Thursday morning. It's the end of my Wednesday video. I, um, I am well aware, you guys are probably not, but I'm well aware that I have not put up a couple videos the past couple days. It's just been a crazy past few days for me. I made videos, but I have not spliced or edited them or uploaded them, and that's just me being kind of um, hectic. So um, here we are wrapping up the Wednesday video. I did not do an intro. Um, I did kind of a little bit of one, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. But, um, you know, my night turned out to be an airport night, and uh, I'm starting to see a real pattern forming here. I get into the city. I do a couple Baltimore city runs. I set my destination for BWI, and um, it's been pretty good about pinging me you know, anytime between 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock with a ride to the airport from the hotel areas. And um, tonight it did, last night it did, or, or today it did, yesterday it did, Monday it did. So it's, it's, it's pretty reliable that that's what happens. And, you know, that's a $19, $20 fare um, with or without surge. And then you, from that... You know, the airport is uh, is becoming more consistent. It's up and down. There are nights when you get lots of five, ten, fifteen dollar fares, um, and you get very frustrated. And then there's nights like tonight where I've been to Arlington, I've been to Bethesda, um, I've been to Towson, Glen Burnie. You know, I'm at hundred and seventy dollars now, finishing up my night plus about I don't know. I think it's ten dollars more in um, Lyft not really any lift rides tonight. I think just two. So $180 on a Wednesday night. Guys, you know me. I'll take that. Anything up over $150 is a win for uh, a Monday through Thursday. So, you know, decent night. I'm very happy with the results. I'm at, um, I don't know, close to $400 and it's Wednesday. So, you know, that's in Uber. And then... Uh, I don't know what I am, and I think I'm at about $150 in Lyft. I'd have to look at it. Um, but, you know, I'm ahead of schedule. Let's put it that way. I'm ahead of schedule because I had a strong Monday night. I had a um, consistently good Tuesday night, and now Wednesday's um, above average as well. So airport is doing pretty well. Uh, you know, it's love-hate relationship. And, you know, tonight it loved me. Some nights it hates me. Um, it is very much a luck-driven um, you know, relationship. There were a lot of technical glitches tonight with the system. I don't know if that's because they're rolling out their new match rematch system and it's buggy. Um, but a lot of times you'd get the message, go to the airport and you'll receive a ride along the way. You know, you get 10 feet outside of the, the parking lot and it just drops you back into the queue. Um, you get to the airport and it drops you completely out of the queue and then you don't get any ride. You get through the airport and you get a ride. And then 10 minutes after you've picked up your customer, you get a text message saying, sorry, we were unable to give you a ride. So, you know, some software stuff definitely going on there, guys. Um, you know, nothing that we as drivers can do anything about. We just have to endure it, get through the system, you know, um, you know, do the best we can with our customers, take care of them, be patient with Uber's um, tech team and hope to God they're working on these glitches and, um, you know, fixing them. But that's, that's all we can do, guys. You know, August 7th is kind of the magic day for me because that's when we'll actually have phone support. You know, rather than having to send these stupid messages through the Uber help system and then you get some cookie cutter cut and paste response that has nothing to freaking do with what you're talking about um, and you just want to laugh you know uh, come August 7th when we have live phone support here in Baltimore you'll be able to click the phone button and get on the phone with somebody and say look this is what happened what can you do to help me and hopefully fingers crossed hopefully we'll get uh, we'll get more productive um, responses. So, you know, that's that. Um, you know, good night tonight, guys. 
I am still, um, you know, learning the airport nuance. And, uh, you know, I think I'm getting the hang of it. I'm not going to do the sketchy cancel. I'm not going to ask people where they're going before I accept their ride. I'm not going to do any of that, that weird stuff because at the end of the day, that, that's, that shit's going to come back and bite you. I mean, it just it's Pardon my language, but that's the way I feel. Um, you know, I take them all. And sometimes you regret it. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's good. And I think that's how karma works is that you got to take the good with the bad. If you're always expecting the good, it's, you're going to get burned. Um, if you're always expecting the bad, well, then yeah, on nights like tonight where the numbers worked out in your favor, that's great. And you feel good. You go home with a, you know, positive energy and you feel, you feel happy. So, um, you know, worked out really well. I was a little bit discouraged when I started my night because I had a hotel customer from yesterday say he was going to use me as a, uh, a request for uh, his ride back out of town. And I never got a text message from him, even though I gave him my card. So maybe he was just being polite when he took my card. And that's very much possible. Um, you know, but does it hurt a little bit? Yes, because I'm trying to build repeat referral business. So there you go. Um, you know, I still feel like you can grind in the city and I think it's got to be a flexibility level. It's, you've got to be willing to say, hey, the airport is sucking for me tonight. I'm going to go back to the city. Or tonight the airport was, you know, winning. So I'm going to keep going back to the well. As long as the well is giving me good rides, I'm going to keep going back to it. And that's how it worked tonight is that, you know, the rides came pretty steadily. Um, it worked out really well. On a side note, I got stuck at the airport in that monsoon level storm that came through and my shoes and socks are um, waterlogged. Even now, they're still damp, um, you know, six hours later plus. So I'm gonna get myself, uh, luckily I had a spare shirt. I don't know what I was thinking this morning, but when I left the house, I said, you know what? I'm gonna bring a spare t-shirt with me in case I get sweaty. Because I, I, sometimes I get sweaty in the car. And um, I'm so glad I had that instinct because I got drenched in the rain and I was able to take off my wet t-shirt and at least put on a dry t-shirt. But my feet, oh my God, I'm driving barefoot right now. I know that's probably against the law. I, I apologize to any law enforcement people out there that are watching this video. Um, but I had to because my shoes were just wet and nothing is worse than cold, wet feet for me. So. You know, I'm going to get a pair, pair of flip-flops or sandals or something I can just throw in the trunk, um, you know, in an emergency type situation where, uh, you know, my shoes get compromised with water because I definitely need something. I need a backup, um, you know, not necessarily sure if I need a, a whole change of clothes, but I definitely needed a backup shirt and a backup pair of socks and shoes tonight. So, you know, maybe I'll go and get a cheap pair of sneakers instead and just throw them in the trunk with some socks. Um, just for emergencies. So something to that effect, you know, just a what if um, you don't think it's going to happen to you and it does. So that's that. Um, I'm going to wrap it up, guys, because I'm fuzzy. I got to drink some more coffee. I, I stopped at a 7-Eleven in Arlington to get myself a cup of coffee because I was just tired and I knew the hour plus ride back to uh, back to home was going to be, you know, long and non-eventful and highway driving you know, late at night makes you sleepy. So caffeine is my friend. I'm going to put some in my system. I'm going to get off the horn here, guys. And, um, you know, we're going to hit this again tomorrow. I, I really want to start introducing some new topics to these videos because I feel like, you know, to me, they feel like I'm maybe getting a little redundant. Um, I know that, you know, this is kind of just like a video blog or diary of my experiences and it's me kind of spitballing and just randomly talking about stuff as my nights go by. But I would love to add some more technical content. However, you know, I'm no, by no means am I a subject matter expert. Um, you know, and that's where I don't want to represent myself, you know, incorrectly. Um, I don't feel like that would do anybody justice. So if you guys have things you want me to talk about, you know, please say so. If you want me to you know, make more specific level videos, that's fine. Um, the GoPro to the camera is not really a good, a good tool because the, 
the video that the GoPro produces is very high quality and I even at the lowest setting it's a ridiculous file size um, so transmitting it wirelessly to the phone is hours and hours um, and there isn't a way I'm, that I think you can connect the S8, which is my phone, the Galaxy S8, directly to the GoPro and via wire. I can probably do it through my computer at home, but that's a whole lot of steps that I don't really want to take when I'm home. So, um, as much as I would love to send you guys screenshots and stuff, you know, and do those kind of videos, right now I'm just challenged on how I do that. So, uh, you know, we'll have to... I'll have to troubleshoot that a little bit and figure out some ways around that if that's what you guys want to see. Um, you know, if you guys want me to make more specific videos about where my hunting grounds are and what areas I like or, you know, whatever, just ask and, uh, you know, and I'd be happy to talk about it because what I don't want to do is just become repetitive and then you guys kind of put me on um, ignore because it's the same Mike goes to work, Mike makes money, Mike goes home videos over and over again. And I know that would be boring for you um, you know, cause I don't, I don't think it's boring for me. It's just a diary of my, my experiences, but, um, you know, I want stuff, I want to put information out there that you guys can actually use. So let's, uh, let's leave it at that and, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody.